Hello everybody, welcome to data visualization with Python laboratory. So in this video, we are going to learn about program 10A. The program 10A says that uh, draw a time series using a Plotly library. So let us see what is time series and what is the Plotly library. Then we'll uh, uh, see the code for it. So here is the syllabus and this is the last program that is the 10th program. 10th program has the A and B. First we will see A. In the next video I will explain you the second one. So here uh, write a python program to draw a time series using a plotly library. What is time series? A time series is nothing but it is a sequence of data points collected or recorded uh, at uh, successive points in a time. So it is uh, uh, equally spaced interval whatever data we are uh, collecting such as the hourly basis or daily basis uh, the data which you are collecting or weekly basis, uh, monthly basis all those things. So for example the data which you are collect collecting in the stock market um, the temperature uh, uh, data which you are collecting daily or hourly uh, temperature reading um, from the weather station or the sales data uh, or the economic uh, indicators all those things. Yeah. Now let us see the code uh, how to uh, plot a time series uh, graph by using a plotly library. Yeah. So here is the code already I have typed the program I will just run and show you this. Yeah, you can see the output here this is the time series based on the data uh, the values and it is an interactive graph see here you can see the lasso tool uh, and the box selection, the uh, pinning tool, the zoom tool and you can save uh, all those things. Uh. Now I will explain you each line. First thing what we are doing is we are importing the required uh, library. We need uh, the Plotly library and we need uh, the Panda library. So the Plotly library nothing but it is an interactive visualization library. So that is the reason we are getting this uh, interactive that's this uh, you know uh, the special uh, uh, the button symbols we are getting it because of the interactive library Plotly. So this Plotly library and in this uh, we are importing uh, the uh, uh, graph objects to access the you know Plotly graph uh, objects and we are giving the shortcut name as a go and I need uh, the pandas which is a powerful library for data manipulation here uh, we use it to create and manipulate the time series uh, data in a data frame or you can if you want to imp uh, if you want to load the external data or you want to create your own data and create the data frame uh, for that we need this uh, pandas uh, library so here is a, we are creating a simple uh, data for our uh, time series if you want you can uh, you know download the data from the net of a stock market or the weather data that also you can load it or you can have a own data later you can create the data set that is a data frame so here what I am doing is I am creating uh, some dates randomly generating some dates and uh, some values I am giving for uh, those dates you can see here in the output so here is the date I am generating and the values I am uh, giving so I am creating the some, some dates uh, by using the date uh, range function this is the date range the date range function by using this uh, i am creating uh, the uh, 10 dates so here i am starting with uh, this date 11 uh, 2024 and i want uh, the 10 dates here if you give 100 it will uh, generate the 100 dates uh. so i want uh, 10 dates and what is the frequency frequency is day wise day wise so you can give here uh, the week you can you can generate the dates uh, uh, weekly wise or you can uh, uh, skip the weekends if you give B here capital B so you will get the dates but um, uh, those uh, this function will uh, skip the uh, weekends so here if you give D continuously it will give you 10 dates it, it will include the uh, weekdays and the weekend both if you give B here it will eliminate the week uh, ends Saturday and Sunday it will not include and W also you can give uh, and monthly also you can generate yearly also you can uh, generate the date so basically what we are doing is we are generating the 10 uh, successive dates 
and for those dates i am assigning a some random value then so this is our data set now for this data set what we have to do is we have to convert into data frame so i'll use again the panda and the function data frame and this data we converted into data frame and store it in a variable called df okay now i'm creating um, the same time series uh, plot so here you can give with the height of those things so here what i'm doing is i created a go dot figure one uh, uh, figure the layout i created stored in a variable called a fig so after that i have to add my uh, uh, plot right plot adding a line chart for a time series so for that what you have to use you have to use the add trace function where we have to add to in this figure to this figure we have to add our uh, graph so you can generate the line graph by using a scatter scatter okay actually scatter means it will give you only points right yeah but here there is a mode option here for the mode if you give lines plus markers you will get the point as well as the line if you give only line you will get only the line graph if you give only the markers you will get only the points but here what i have mentioned in the mode i have mentioned the line plus marker so you will get the line graph even though we are using the scattered understood so go dot scatter function and what data i want i want the data from my data frame in in my data frame take the x value as a date df of a, see x is equal to df of a date y is equal to data frame of a value and mode what is the mode i want line as well as the marker okay this thing uh, you have to remember okay. and you can give the name also for this uh, name is equal to value done yeah now uh, we are giving us uh, some labels you can use the update layout title is equal to same time series title x axis title date and y axis title uh, and the template this is optional we are using a plotly dark uh, so that's why the background is a uh, dark finally we are calling the show function figure dot show to show our uh, graph so what i'll do is i'll uh, uh, remove this lines i'll give only the markers you can just see notice the difference here you'll get only the points see here because we have used scatter right we are getting uh, only the points and if you want lines you can give lines here only lines you want uh, you can give lines and you can remove this uh, markers you will get only the line you can see here we are getting only the line but we are not getting the marker though the dots and this uh, uh, the template also i will uh, remove it now you can see the background uh, is uh, different this is very simple program the same program uh, you can use uh, by using the uh, express uh, uh, library as well yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.